Hello, everyone. The topic we're going to be learning about today, you take an action verb stem, only an action verb, and you attach ko. And then you attach poni and optionally ga. So if you have the verb hada, you get hago poni ka. That's it. So what is this form? Well, you got an action verb and then you have ko. What is ko? Well, it means and, but ko can also mean and then. By and then, I mean after doing something. And then ponika. This is from the verb poda. Poda is to see or to look. There's one more part of this form that we need to understand. Unika. This unika form, you might think it means because, and it does, but it also can mean realizing. Like you've done something and then you realize something after you do it. So this is what the form is. This is all it is. When we put these pieces together, we get the meaning of our form. So we have an action verb, so you do something, and then after you've done that thing, you look around and you realize. That's what the form means. So by saying that, it shows that the speaker, whoever's making the sentence, the speaker realizes something after they've finished doing something. So I do something and then I realize. So let me give you a translation for that. After doing verb, I looked around and realized something that I didn't already know or something I didn't already think. So what else can we talk about with this form? This ga at the end, the ga is optional. Although ga is optional, I recommend using it, especially you're talking with your friend, you're talking with someone who's not your friend, you're just talking. Most of the time the ga will be added. You're going to hear hago poni ga way more often than you'll hear hago poni. With that said, if you want to sound a little bit more fancy, or if you're writing something and you want to sound a little bit more official or fancy, don't use it. So I told you that this form means you do something and after you do it, you look around and you realize. Most of the time, this will end in the past tense. Now, it doesn't have to. There are some examples you could probably think of where it doesn't end in the past tense. After becoming an adult, I realized that there are really a lot of things I have to be responsible for. But most of the time you'll find this ends in the past tense. Not always, again, but most of the time. If you want to use this form with a descriptive verb, you have to change it into an action verb first. So you can either use tida or you can use the verb tida. But as a descriptive verb, you cannot just stick it into this form. It'll be grammatically wrong. One more thing. There is another form, ko nanika. It has a very similar usage as ko ponika. This form is also, and then after doing something, I realized, and this na simply emphasizes that something is after. So it has a stronger feeling of after doing something, I realized, but the usage of it is the same as ponika. Just keep that in mind if you see it. Okay, so let's do our first example sentence. 정신 없이 먹고 보니 저 혼자 3인분을 먹었네요. So I ate 정신 없이 frantically. So I was just eating frantically, and after I finished, I realized something. What did I realize? 저, me, 혼자, by myself. 삼 인분. 인분 means a serving, a portion for a number of people. So 1 인분 would be for one person. 삼 인분 would be enough food for three people. 삼 인분을 먹었네요. So I realized I had eaten three portions all by myself. So after I finished frantically eating, I realized I had eaten three portions all by myself. 정신 없이 먹고 보니 저 혼자 3인분을 먹었네요. 어른이 되고 보니. 어른, an adult. Become. So after I became an adult, I realized. Past tense. What did I realize? 책임 is a responsibility. 지다 is to have a responsibility. So 책임 줘야 하다. To have to be responsible for. 책임 줘야 할 일. Things I have to be responsible for. 참 많아요. There are really a lot of things I have to be responsible for. And I realized that after I became an adult. 어른이 되고 보니 책임 줘야 할 일이 참 많아요. After becoming an adult, I realized there are a lot of things I have to be responsible for. 버스를 타서 자리에 앉고 보니 핸드폰이 손에 없었어요. After I sat down on my seat on the bus, I realized I didn't have my phone. 버스를 타서 자리에 앉고 보니 핸드폰이 손에 없었어요. So I became close with them. After I became close with them, I realized that they were a good person. 
So after I got to know them, I realized they were a good person. 친해지고 보니 좋은 사람이었어요. There are two really common uses for this grammar form that might not translate so well into English. So I'm just going to give you ways you can translate them. The first one is 알고 보니. 알고 보니. 그 사람은 이미 여자 친구가 있대요. 알고 보니. So after I knew, I realized you can think of 알고 보니 kind of like 알다, like to learn. Because you might say 알았어요, like I got it, which is kind of like saying, hey, I learned that, like I understand, I understood. So after I learn something, I realize. So I realize something after I learn something. Just memorize this phrase, 알고 보니 or 알고 보니까. A good way to translate this form is, it turns out. It turns out is an expression we use in English to convey information that we found out. Like when you say, hey, it turns out, you're conveying something that you found out. You're saying, hey, I learned something, you know? Actually. So, hey, I learned something and then I realized. It turns out. So, it turns out that 그 사람은 이미 여자친구가 있대요. So, I heard that person already has a girlfriend. 그 사람은 이미 already 여자친구가 있대요. It turns out that guy's already got a girlfriend. 알고 보니 그 사람은 이미 여자친구가 있대요. So it turns out, I heard that person's already got a girlfriend. There's one more very common expression with this form. 그러고 보니 철수 씨가 거기서 일하네요. So let's look at this part first. 철수 works 거기서. 철수 works there. 그러고 보니. 그러다 is an action verb. To do so. To do that. So after someone does something. So 그러고 보니. So I realized after doing that, but that's not how it translates. This one might translate as come to think of it. 그러고 보니 철수 씨가 거기서 일하네요. Come to think of it, 철수 works there. 정신을 차리고 보니 너무 멀리까지 걸어왔어요. 정신을 차리고 보니. So when I came to my senses, I realized 너무 멀리까지 걸어왔어요. I had walked here, but it was too far. I realized I had walked too far to here where I am right now. 정신을 차리고 보니 너무 멀리까지 걸어왔어요. After I came to my senses, I realized that I'd walked too far. So that is the lesson. And I will see you again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.